welcome back, G-Man in the Studio Lab. Today I'm bringing yet another user review on a hot new product, the ModBat Performer. A DJ-style performance effects module designed with hip-hop and glitch music in mind, but it also dishes up some nice action for trip-hop, trap, experimental, and electronic music, and as you just heard, far-out ambient drones. I was using the 101 VCO, DNA Symbiotic Waves, Batumi, and Gyrinx VCF for that one. First, a few quick comments. This review is not sponsored by the manufacturer. I purchased this product with my own dinero. So all you will hear is some beat and audio loops getting mangled along with my honest opinions. Furthermore, I won't go into the rich history of DJ style effects, roots in vinyl turntablism, audio sampling, the rise of computer digital audio production techniques, audio plugins and VSTs like Deep Blue Glitch, and the onset of DJ performance effects mixers like those made by Pioneer and popularized by almost every notable house DJ since. And lastly, this isn't a tutorial on how to use Performer. For that, I will refer to excellent videos available on the ModBap Modular YouTube channel. So we have the pertinent questions. Is Performer worth the coin? And is it right for you? Let's jump in. Performer is a quad performance effects module. Notice the word performance. There are currently many effects modules available for Eurorack, but as the name would suggest, Performer strives to be more than that. At long last, we have the ability to punch in the effects on a whim. We can now toggle different effects on the fly. We can mangle the audio using the real-time potentiometers in CV. This is the realm of hands-on DJ performance effects. So buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. On tap, we have four stereo effects, delay, reverb, glitch, and tape stop. Additionally, we can color the audio output, classic, lo-fi, saturation, and wax. But wait, there's more. We also get a built-in audio compressor with sidechain capability, with full control over the ratio, threshold, attack, and release. Included in the box is a quick start guide, sticker, 3mm screws, ribbon cable, and a 2HP B-Boy blank panel. The first 50 orders also had a set of four 25cm right angle patch cords included. Right out of the box, the module is a bit of heft to it. Metal black powder coat faceplate with simple graphics. Kind of reminds me of some Roland E Juno 6 style. The screw holes are not slotted, but that's not a problem for me since I use sliding nuts. Metal shaft alpha type potentiometers. A small tactile switches are par for the course. Man, the illuminated arcade buttons are legit. Very low resistance action on these. Around the back, it's refreshing to see bare wires on the buttons. That translates to the arcade buttons being very serviceable. So if years down the road and literally millions of button cycles, one goes out, it will be very easy to replace. A micro USB interface for uploading future update firmware. A 10 pin power header does not have the keyed shroud. So for the love of all that is good, triple check that you are plugging the power supply ribbon cable correctly. And now for some final thoughts. Performer is immediate and it is addictive. Unlike some other popular modules out there, you won't need to read a thick manual to get into it. Performer is like having six different effects modules in one, and on the other modules you can't punch in between various effects on a whim. And that's what sets Performer apart from the other effects, is the ability to punch in different effects on a whim. 
Simplicity is also an asset here. You won't be bogged down in the deep parameter edits here, which means more time where it counts, mangling loops. Beautiful sound quality here. It's got that lo-fi vibe when you want it, thanks to the sound colors. Each of the four main effects can stand on their own, set and forget if the situation merits. I'm also hoping future updates will bring additional effects that could be swapped out, possibly ring mod, modulated resonant filter, and distortion for example. Also, more variety in the kinds of delay and reverb types might make a fine addition. Performer is well laid out in 14 HP. Jacks are down and out of the way of the main controls. The tactile switches are a bit small and close to the jacks, but those aren't really meant to be tweaked like the main effects during performance. The effect switching is instantaneous. You'll not find a more responsive effect switcher in Rural at the moment. While it might seem pricey for a module, you're getting a heck of a lot of performance and effects value. So for anyone who is into real-time, on-the-fly, punch-in, hands-on performance effects, this is a must-buy. I can't recommend it highly enough. Performer is a remarkable first entry for ModBap Modular. Can't wait to see what they're up to next. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.